Hello everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2 and welcome or welcome back. You have come to the Time for a Cuppa series, A Celebration of Tea. This is video number six and um, I will put the first links to the first five videos down below if you have not seen them. So you have stumbled upon a good time is what you have stumbled upon or come here voluntarily. Um, I am using uh, Jen Racine's new coloring book, Time for a Cup of a Celebration of Tea, to celebrate tea. So each week we do a different page from the book, and you are welcome to color along if you would like to. Um, I try to show you my inspiration and I talk about the tea. So let's get started. It's a good time this week. So um, we started with a psalm, that was week one. Uh, we did boba tea week two. We did Ceylon tea week three. We did chai tea week four. Chamomile was last week, week five. And this week we are on dandelion tea. So um, I didn't even realize that you could make tea out of dandelions. I will admit as much as I know about tea, I should have known because I have all kinds of other flower teas downstairs. And it's just a plant. Um, weeds are just plants that we don't want around. Um, so, uh, I had to find dandelion tea because actually I didn't have any. Um, and I discovered that there is dandelion root tea and dandelion leaf tea. So, I got both. Now, I ordered some dandelion, organic dandelion leaf tea. Um, and it is just organic dandelion leaves. That is all that is in here. And I thought that I would show you. We'll have a little show and tell. I'll get one of my handy dandy spoons so you can kind of see the leaves and I'll try not to spill tea. So it looks like normal tea. Um, actually it looks a lot like mint tea. It looks like there's some flour in there because that's what these little white specks are. Um, I'm used to <laughs> seeing tea so <laughs> but there you go. And um, it smells like um, it smells like a dandelion. So I'll tell you, I didn't realize until I tried it um, that when you cut the grass, I mean, you smell the grass, but also I'm smelling the dandelion because when I taste it, I I know what a dandelion smells like. So it's, it's, it tastes like what a dandelion smells like. And to me, it's a very similar to chamomile, um, but it's not as rich and syrupy. Does that make sense? Just to me, chamomile is very, very rich. Um, this is a little more, and here's my, my cup. I have brewed of it. You can kind of see the color. Um, the, the bag says steep it for five minutes. I, um, did that the first time and I found it to be very strong. I find that this, even though it's an herbal and it has no caffeine and a lot of herbal teas take a long time to steep, this seems to steep very quickly. I did this for two minutes and I tend to like it. And I'm a person who likes my tea strong. Like I leave the basket in there, I don't take it out, I don't care. But with this one, and I do the same thing with chamomile. So yeah, oops, sorry. Um, so it does, it, it tastes like a dandelion smells. You have more of the the leafy in there than the flower because there are more leaves and with chamomile you're just getting the flowers if that makes sense so it's not bad um I'm not gonna say I love it I don't hate it either um so when I found dandelion root tea because apparently they make tea from the roots it doesn't tell me anything about it um it tells me to steep it for 10 minutes which I found to be extremely wrong. So it looks kind of like little rocks. <laughs> it has a very um, uh, nutty sort of smell, like roasted nuts, which you would expect to. It's roasted roots. I can't really describe the smell. Um, so, but that is what dandelion root tea looks like. And so I have steeped some of that. There you go these over here um, and it is darker and I will tell you um, 
it, this bag says to steep it for 10 minutes, which I did. And like I said, I'm a person who drinks my tea really strong. Um, it's very bitter when you steep it for that long. I will just warn you if you want to try it. I, I'll tell you with anything that you're unfamiliar with, you can go by the guidelines on the package. Um, but if you're unsure, steep it for a minute and then try it. If it's not strong enough or the flavor isn't, you know, put it, put the, put the basket back in or the bag or whatever for another minute and just keep going because you can't unsteep tea. You can steep tea longer, but you can't unsteep it. But yeah, uh, I will tell you 10 minutes is very bitter. I mean, like if coffee was tea and that's the only way I can describe it, that's what this tastes like because it does have a little bit of bitter to it. Um, adding milk to it does help, especially when it was very strong. Um, it made it more palatable. I put sweetener in it. It has a, a different flavor that I think most of us are not used to. Um, and I, I don't know, I would like to say that <laughs> most people wouldn't like it. Um, I don't love it. Would I ever buy it again? No, I'll never. I mean... I'm going to use it in my mom's, so we're having a tea for my mom's garden club, and I'm putting it on the menu so that people can try it, because it's very interesting. Um, I find that, you know, it's very unique. Um, it has a lot of benefits. They say that dandelion tea is a good antioxidant, inflammation. Some people say it's a good diet tea. Um, as with most flowers, they say, you know, it reduces inflammation. Um, so they, you know, it's been used for a long time. Now I know that you just can't go out and pull the dandelions in your backyard to make tea out of them. Um, I believe I read that like the root tea has to be made from dandelions that are like two years old. And I know nobody's gonna leave them in their yard that long, but who knows? Maybe some of you do. So I like, um, oh, and so I steeped this for one minute. And it was actually drinkable. It was, it wasn't, it's not bad. It's, it's more like a normal tea. I still got a little bit of that bitter. Um, and what I could do, and this is a little secret if you don't know, um, you could always steep it for a minute, dump it out and steep it again. And you'll wash away like whatever that first flush is. I haven't tried that yet. Um, I don't know if I care enough to because I don't think I'm going to enjoy the flavor. But then again, some people might. I don't enjoy poo air teas at all. I am going to drink one when we have, when we have it in this book. But I, you know, just to maybe see if I can find one I like. But I don't like poo air teas. So, um, you know, there are teas that I don't like, and and there are teas I like, and some of the things I like other people don't like. So, and that's perfectly fine. You're allowed to have. You know, why, why should anyone make fun of anyone else for what they like or what they don't like? It doesn't make any sense to me. Everyone is an individual and you're allowed to have your own opinion. So that's me. Soapbox over. That's what makes us all unique and is our gift to society and the world. Um, if you didn't see, I have teaspoons. Like this is for a pot of tea. So it's, it's kind of like a coffee scoop. But it's made for tea <laughs> and this is a, a teaspoon for eight ounces of tea you know you can buy these these are around um i don't know where about these i've had them forever um tea store i think uh, so let's get started i have chosen an inspiration which i can post up there but here it is i just searched the internet for something that looks cool and this is this is a dandelion blend but i liked the box and I liked, um, I just search for dandelion tea and then I search until I find something that relates that I like. <laughs> this is a nice set of colors. I like it. So I'm going to go with that. Um, that inspiration there. And so I'm using my Arteza Everblends because they are sitting on my desk and it's easy for me. And so I think this embodies dandelion, don't you think? So we shall take our set of markers here. And get started. Also, by the way, if you didn't know, oh, uh, let me get a little bit closer. Um, if you can't drink caffeine, like dandelion tea is decaffeinated, like there's no caffeine, so you can drink it. 
Um, but if you, if you like caffeinated teas and you don't like decaffeinated teas, um, you can take a caffeinated tea, um, steep it for a minute, dump that out and steep it again. Cause each time you steep it, you're reducing the amount of caffeine. Now it depends on the number, the, the flavor that you like, but you can basically decaffeinate whatever tea you want. And most tea, like coffee, is going to have, even the decaffeinated, has a little tiny bit of caffeine in it. Um, but if you didn't know, you can do that to decaffeinate whatever tea you want. Oh, let's see what well, we're going to start with. Let's see, what are my dandelion colors? I think I used, why not YG, I need a Y. Okay, 17, 25, and 22. Mm. I don't know if this one's gonna be dark enough, but we're gonna color some dandelions and then, uh... <sighs> so let's see. How are y'all doing this week? It's nice to, to be back again. It's nice to be sticking, for me <laughs> to be sticking with a series. I mean, I've tried a couple of different series and uh, even though I like them, I found it was hard for me to stick to. And it is hard. I don't know how some people do, like, this a couple times a month, or a couple times a week. Um, I just don't have that much time. And I often wonder, it's like, um, I know some people do not have full-time jobs. I do have a full-time job. And it's very busy. And, um... So sometimes I can color during the day, sometimes I cannot, sometimes I won't even get lunch, um, depending on how busy it is. It is a lot better. We've hired a lot of people to help out, um, so it's, it's much better than it used to be, um, but I don't know if these yellows are as bright as I would like them to be, but... We'll see if we can do something about that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, when I first started, it was like trying to drink through a fire hose. I mean, it was just ridiculous. And most of us were new, but that's what happens. I mean, my company had bought other companies before, but they bought my company, which was a an, a big company anyway and so um it was oh my gosh you know totally um just adding so many new people and and clients and stuff like that and it was just oh, we couldn't keep up with the work and i had never done the kind of work that i'm doing before that's another story though. I'll put a little bit of this on top and see if we can just have a little marker fun here. We'll see what it looks like when we get done. I know I think my my I always have this trouble like <laughs> I'm too get, good at picking similar colors and then they're not different enough. <laughs> like I'm sure that my light color isn't isn't is the, there's not enough difference between these two colors, so I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Um, I think this one's too dark. I think, mm, I think it's gonna be too similar to this one. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. Is it gonna help any? I don't know. I may have to go darker. I think I'm making it worse and not better. Is it gonna look terrible? No. Um, I'm trying to keep it bright. <laughs> and I don't think I picked the right yellows, but we'll see. We're learning. I'm learning. I am terrible with markers. Like, I just, I can't ever pick the right colors. I've done pretty well so far. But, um, I'm 
trying not to waste my time picking picking markers. I guess I could try mm, 12, 2, and 6. Let's try those. 2, 6, and 12. Okay. We'll, we'll fix them. Let's see, these are smaller after all that. I don't really have any more big ones. Go figure. Two. Two is darker. A 12 is the darkest of these colors. So we're going to use that down here. I can honestly say I have never colored a dandelion before. darker six is the one that's lighter two is in the middle okay I got it I got it probably you know what I think I know what I'm doing wrong um I need something a little bit redder maybe why are Four. Let's see if I'm going to regret this. Oh, I can guarantee I'm going to regret it. <laughs> but it's okay. It'll be more like a dandelion. Don't you know? I know it'll be pretty. I have faith. Faith in the pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I actually just say that? Um, so we're going to do this. I didn't even look to see if you can see what I'm doing. Um, coloring dandelions. So let me know in the comments if any has anybody tried dandelion tea before? Were you familiar with it? Um, like... Like I wasn't. Two and twelve. Let's see, twelve is the darker one. The numbers on Everblend markers to me go backwards. Um, and your smaller number is darker generally. <laughs> so I'm always forgetting which one is lighter. And I tend to need to put them in order, if that makes sense. I don't think I need that one. Um, so did y'all have a nice Easter? Because the last tea was, was around Easter, which was fun. I had a good time. Um, I'm busy planning a, an afternoon tea for my mom's garden club, and that's been fun getting, oh, getting some new teas and stuff like that to make a menu. I'm using some of mine. It's for charity because they want to get some money to help uh, the community in my hometown, which is very nice. Um, so I'm using my own teas. I've collected things over the years to do the tea with. I still need to get some more teapots. I have two dozen two cup teapots. Um, and so like yeah, I really am a traveling tea shop because um, I've done high teas for Christmas the Christmas parade festival that my hometown used to have every year and so I was you know after doing stuff for years I've just collected things here and there like every year I would get something new and so that's that's where I am with that uh, that should be uh, who cares gonna be yellow. 
Did I make it darker? I did. I made it darker over here. You can darken it up with some pencil. So that's going to be green. See, I probably should have made that this part like green. And I might try to go back and do that with some dark green later. <laughs> Uh, so let's color some leaves. Let's, let's switch it up. I got some pretty greens. Let's see, those are the ones we're using. Um, let's try my greens. Let's see how I did with that. So I'm going to start out with a light color. So I always do, so when I do like my markers, Again, let me preface this with not a professional, <laughs> just kind of started playing around and watching people on YouTube and this is what I have come up with. So we're gonna do a leaf. These leaves are big. I don't think I'm gonna color the background on this um, because of these. Um, the little wispies. I am going to do something with those. I have not decided exactly what I'm going to do, but it'll be cool. I just realized how hard this leaf is to tell what's leaf and what's not because of the way it's jagged. Your brain kind of goes like, ah, I can't tell. You have to get it colored in. And there we have a leaf. So you're like, that's a leaf. So I don't want to start on that one. I want to go with a little bit darker color. Let's see, that part of the leaf is on top. So we're gonna shade it with a little bit darker color here. And if you use colors that are close enough together, like, like the Artezas are easy to get together. I don't have Copics or anything like that. Um, so, but I find that the Artezas, you can get like a nice, um, kind of close colors and that helps blend a little better. Marker blending is scary, but not hard. I think it's harder to think about than it is to actually do and uh, you don't have to do it as fast as you think. You you have to be quick, um, but it's not as bad as you think. I'm gonna, oh, am I going to regret this? <laughs> I may regret the really dark. Um, let's just do a little bit more of this here. I may sh maybe shouldn't have gone over that part with the, the light green because I think I washed out my darker green by doing that. It was too fresh, too wet, and I just pushed it on through. So, we'll do this darker one. See, these are like normally, I think, pretty dark, if I remember correctly. And I've got a really dark green. I can put some really dark green down here if we want, you know, and do like tips of the leaves, maybe put some, just a little bit of shading right there. Don't know. We'll see. I think it's going to be cool. Put a little bit there. I was going to do it in a different spot, but that's okay. I think that'll look neat. There are no coloring police, right? And I'm not exactly doing an art final or anything. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I always tend to like to do the stems in dark colors. I don't know. Especially on the bottoms. I'll do it dark. And then the next lightest color like that. that looks pretty good. I mean, we're not going for hyper realism, right? At least I'm not.
tell you one thing this series has done is step up my confidence for picking colors because I'm, I'm forced to actually pick colors. I mean, it's, a, it's very difficult for me. And I'm trying to have like a, a palette, you know, and get all the markers and stuff picked before I get on so that I, you don't have to listen to me struggle with picking. I always say that. I feel like I'm a broken record. So there's that. Oh, my dandelions are looking good. Um, I think my pitcher is going to be the dark blue. And then this, I can tell ya, is going to be red. And this is how I'm going to do it, I think. Um, so I've got a light red that I pulled off the tea box. And I haven't decided, but you can always use your lighter color because you can color a, cover a lighter color with a darker color, but you can't cover a darker color with a lighter color. And then um, do it like that, get my darker red. And of course this is a, see, there you go, I've picked reds that are really close together. Look at that. How do I do that? Just kind of amazing, really. Uh, but these are the reds that were in the box. To me, they're pretty close. We're going to do this. If you can see it. I'm going to do it in a reddish color. And this is kind of a light pinky red. And then these are definitely going to be, um, I need to look at a picture of one, but I'm pretty sure this little thing is brown. Or no, this is brown, and then I can't remember what that looks like, but we're going to do some, like, glitter gel pen and make them look all wispy and stuff. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So that's going to be cool. Very excited. Um, and then should I do, like, a little bit darker? What color have I got? I probably got a color that I can't go darker with. 23. I could do two. Hi. Say hi to Scotty. He's starving to death. I apologize. I'm horrible to my animals. He doesn't have buckets of food downstairs at all that he can go eat. Nope. Oh, he's got... The, I'm going to make my hearts darker red. Just because. I want them to look a little bit different than the flowers and this hopefully will not be regrettable <laughs> I hope I don't regret this great I'm trying not to I'm terrible at color it sucks when you can't see you have to look way up like I have to stand up to see my camera because I'm using my phone and it's in a holder so we'll color the hearts in this color, and then this, I think, um, the pitcher is going to be my dark blue color, and I've got a dark blue and a lighter blue, and so I have to decide, like, how I'm going to do that, and then, um, this is going to be green. I have to decide what shade, but since I'm using a dark blue, I think I'm going to have to go with... I can start with a light color and then see. Um, I can start with my lightest green, and then if I want to go darker, I can. Like this. And just make these... Look like Christmas. Oh, you know, and then um, I have colors. Like I actually picked out colors because I assume this is the tea down here at the bottom. So I have colors. I picked out because you could see my teas are different colors. I picked out a set of 
not those. Those are the yellow ones that I threw away. Yeah. Um, there's a YG. Oh, no. I put them. <laughs> those are the markers I'm not using. Um, I picked out a YG. Two um, for the green tea, or for the dandelion leaf tea, because it was kind of like a yellowy green. And then I picked out like a couple of kind of light brownie colors for the root tea. And then I'm going to make, I think these, the root tea, and these, the leaf tea, here in this glass. And these are going to be see-through, I think. Um, and I'll use some of the blue, and I might even put some gold on there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. This page might take me, oh, look at that. I just stopped coloring in the middle, and now I'm going to have a line there. Because why? Because I was too busy talking. But anyway, um, let me, so explain what I'm going to do. Because we're going to use our colors. And then um, try and not make this video too long, because it gets impossible to upload. But... Let me um, work on this picture and I will be back. All right, so this is the finished product. And it's not quite dry yet because I, I decided to do an experiment and I colored the, the jar. I did the same technique I did on the glass that I did with our last picture, only this time I added some golden um, gloss medium to it, and you know to make and I did some on here to make them shiny. The gold is my Caliro watercolor because Caliro is amazing. Um, so I added some colors I wasn't planning on. I just used some uh, jelly roll clear gel pen for um, my little wispies to make them kind of stand out and so I think it's cool I love how I did my I finally got with the program and remembered what dandelions look like when they're buds and and did the some little marker blending there so that came out cool I like it I think it came out really nice and um, thank you so much for joining me. It was fun. These, are, these have been a lot more fun than I anticipated. So um, anyway, we can next week is Darjeeling. That'll be fun. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know um, or anything else. I hope y'all had a great time and I will see you next week for Darjeeling Tea. Bye everyone!